Okay, so this video is just going to be more of like a little rant. It's going to be short. I just wanted to say, a lot of coaches will say that inner child work is not necessary. It's a load of crap. They don't recommend it at all. And what I have to say to that is inner child work, along with what I said in the last video, that it was very helpful in integrating the different pieces and parts of me that were sort of neglected and that really does help with self-concept a lot you know it's it's sort of like one of the grounds for or the basis for self-concept in a way you know like just integrating all the pieces of you so that you, you this so that you accept yourself right and then the other thing i would say is that inner child work doesn't have to be work right it's just it's interesting it's fun it's enlivening it can give you a new spirit it can um awake parts of you that were laying dormant you know it's there's so much value in it and like i think people have a misconception about this work like oh healing work inner child work like it has to be this like drudgery but it can be something that uplifts you and makes you more of who you are it can be in, you know contributing to a really good self-concept it can be you know making you feel really good about yourself which is self-concept you know and self self-actualization and becoming who you really are you know and and being more of yourself which is what i've said in in you know a couple of my previous videos like we're just becoming more of ourselves we're we're you know you know we say we're up leveling but we're just becoming more of that amazing self without all these limits and boundaries right we're we're, we're kind of we're, we're letting the limits go so that we can be more of ourselves which looks to some like up leveling right it can look like up leveling but what we're really doing is we're just becoming more of who we really are and child inner child work can be integral to that process right it, it's it's such an amazing thing to incorporate and so i would never you know poo poo on something that people have never done a lot of the coaches that say oh it's not worth it's not worth it or it's annoying or it's never going to help you or it's just stupid have never done it you know and i'm not I'm not the person that's going to say, oh, you should do like lots of work and you got to go into the deep, dark depths of the problems and stay there and like, you know, grapple with all these things. That's not what I'm saying, which is what I think they might be referring to, right? It's like they think it's just like all this terrible work. But what what I'm preaching about and what I love is going into these, um, you know, go, for example, inner child work doing that in a loving enlightening way that's making you better making you feel better integrating parts of yourself that were neglected integrating yourself you know more fully loving yourself more fully being more of who you are you know inner child work has made me better at visualizing has brought parts of myself to life has made me more light-hearted you know which is all really good for you know manifesting your life and for creating the reality that you want to be living because the reason why it's so good for that is you want to have a light-hearted attitude and if you've you've lost pieces of that in your childhood like if you were stressed or if you have things that you didn't like about yourself because you weren't accepted in certain ways right we're told oh you can't be mad you can't be sad you know if you're sad you're not you're not as loved or you know there's little messages we got from our parents or whoever our caregivers were right that were like well you're not that great if you're not in a good mood or you're not as valuable if you're not happy or whatever which is all crap right and so uncovering those limited beliefs from the past can really be helpful and it's just like uncovering the limiting beliefs now any kind of limiting belief will you know if you're digging it out and discarding it it's going to be helpful to you no matter if it was from then or now because it's if it was from then it's still alive right it's if it comes up it, it, what i'm saying is you're not digging for you're not trying to find work right but if it comes up it's to be work it's to be let go of it's to be looked at you know so it's not this process is not to be digging and trying to find bad stuff to work on right that's not what it's about it's about you know bringing to light these pieces of you that really need to be seen and seeing them and showing yourself that you're loved in all these different ways and it has been monumental for me like I don't think that I would be as um 
what's the word, as incorporated or as whole, loving myself in a holistic way. Now, if I hadn't done that work back, you know, the work that I've done, inner child work but I really don't like calling it work I'd really like to call it nurturing like I said in my last video anyway the next video is going to be on brain health I just wanted to wrap these couple videos up because I feel like they were all related um but if you want a longer video on inner child work and what exactly I did for sh like you know for the whole process or, or whatever just to ask me but um I'm telling you you know bringing that light-hearted goofy side back was really good for me and it doesn't have to be hard work it can just be you know noticing little things and paying attention to what the inner child wants to do you know just giving it a voice you know it can be as simple as giving your inner child a voice in your current everyday life like that's a simple way of doing it you know and that doesn't take that long it's simple and easy right so I definitely promote it I definitely think see its value it has made me a much better creator it has given me new life in ways that i never you know it's unlocked it's unlocked certain things that were not sort of accessible to me as an adult right it's it's like we it, it's like we graduate from being a child and we come into our adult years and we have to be this new and improved like adult person but there are ways to integrate this childlike you know creative imaginary you know ch you know the child that we were into our current adult lives and i think that's just what it is it's just merging the two and giving your little child a voice which is so important and valuable and has taught me so much about myself and continues to teach me about myself and continues to bring light into my life and continues to make me lighthearted and continues to make me a better creator and more creative and more integrated and brings it, it just brings another level of joy and lightheartedness into my current everyday life so anyway i just wanted to touch on that the next video is going to be on brain health. It's going to be an interesting one. Stick around for that. And if you love this video, thumbs it up. If you want a longer one on all the stuff I've done, let me know. And if you love Neville and Law of Assumption and Transformation and my unique perspective, stick around. I'd love to have you. Bye, guys.